Glaucoma is the name given to a group of diseases, all of which um, affect the optic nerve. They form a characteristic um, shape and size and color of the optic nerve. Um, there are often very few symptoms. Most often with glaucoma, people are unaware they've got it, which is why it's so important to have your eyes checked, even if you think they're normal. If the pressure is very high, which is quite uncommon, there can be symptoms, including an ache or pain in the eye, blurred vision, halos around lights. But it's very important to realize that the majority of patients with glaucoma have absolutely no symptoms until it's rather advanced. So glaucoma um, has a variety of treatments, the majority of which are very successful. Nowadays, we often start with a simple laser treatment, which avoids the need for drops. Sometimes we use drops as well. And of course, people who've been on drops for many years will still be on them, although they can also have the laser. Um, we sometimes use drops after laser in addition to um, the treatment to try and lower the pressure even more. If drops and laser are not sufficiently effective to control the pressure, that is to treat the condition, we do have a variety of very safe and effective surgical options. Um, so with all of these uh, treatments at our disposal, we can stop the progression of the condition um, and allow people's vision to stabilize. So MIGS stands for minimally invasive glaucoma surgery and the advantages are how minimally invasive it is. So it's often performed at the same time of cataract surgery. We don't need to make any extra incisions because these tiny um, devices can be implanted through the cataract incision. Um, in patients in whom we're not doing a cataract surgery, then the incision is really tiny, one or two millimeters. And it's often in the cornea, the clear window of the eye, which does not require a suture or a stitch afterwards. Um, because it's so small and uh, causes very little inflammation, very few drops are needed afterwards. A few are, but no more than generally after normal cataract surgery. And the visual recovery is very quick. Um, and the need for observation after the procedure is greatly reduced. So we don't need to trouble people to come into hospital on many occasions. So, so MIGS surgery is generally um, performed at the same time as cataract surgery. The MIGS device are inserted through the cataract surgery wound, the tiny two and a half millimeter wound. Um, so you're lying flat on your back, looking straight at the operating microscope, a bit like with a cataract operation. Um, local anesthetic has already been applied, usually by drops, sometimes with a small injection on the surface of the eye. So it's painless. There's nothing felt, occasionally a, a mild pressure sensation. Um, and the vision recovers pretty quickly, about as quick off as after a normal cataract operation. Um, after the procedure, which takes 15 or 20 minutes in combination with a cataract operation, drops are applied um, and the vision recovers very quickly. Drops are generally required for about four or six weeks um, and the vision recovers within the first week, sometimes on the first day. MIGS is very successful. It works about as well as a couple of drops, which is really very effective because that controls most people's disease. Um, because it's uh, so minimally invasive and very, very safe, we're often using it much earlier in the treatment. Um, and as I mentioned previously, in, in association with cataract surgery. So it's effective and very safe. In patients in whom we need um, very low pressures or in people who have not responded to previous treatments, such as other forms of glaucoma surgery, sometimes we proceed to other surgery as well. But having had MIGS surgery, does not mean that other surgery will be less effective. And that's a really important consideration. So recovery after MIGS is very swift. Um, the vision is often better the next day. Sometimes it's mildly blurred for a day or two, but certainly after a week, it's as back to normal. Um, and the drops are applied only four or five times a day, so not very uh, intensively. Um, and so the visual recovery the need for drops um, is very simple. And also very importantly, we don't need to keep an eye on patients very frequently. Um, we can see them once a couple of weeks after surgery and then perhaps a month or so after that, whereas other forms of glaucoma surgery require much closer monitoring, much more intensive observation. Uh, so it's much more convenient for patients.